little LSDJ keyboard action. So you might recognize the old school DMG Game Boy Pro Sound Modified, which I have feeding into a Korg Chaos Pad 3, which is basically working as a mixer, fed into some shitty old speakers, feed me with some Guinness, and we go back here, and we have a four-player adapter cable for the old Game Boy, which I have hacked into a PS2 cable for an old IBM keyboard. I popped all the plastic off and painted it with spray paint, then popped all the keys off and painted them with paint marker. So, obviously, these sets of keys here are the piano-style keys. Uh, this will turn on and off tables. This is the enter button for pressing A on the Game Boy. Um, page up and page down are interface functions with moving around, as well as these guys here. These buttons here mute each one of the four individual channels that LSDJ is able to play. Um, these two basically switch the octave of your instrument, while these two switch which instrument you have, and I won't even get into these. So you can see here that I am set onto a pulse wave channel. So all the instruments that you have set up in LSDJ are available for you to play through the keyboard. <laughs> So we can press this button here. Switch between instruments or octaves. So let's switch out of the wave channel, and we'll go to the, well, switch out of the pulse channel and switch to the wave channel. So that's the LSDJ keyboard. Some drawbacks that I have to mention, um, you can only play one noise at a time, because that's how LSDJ works. You can only play one note per channel at a time. Um, another problem that just seems to happen all the time, and I've heard this from different people who have made these keyboards, and um, basically it switches instruments on its own when you press keys too fast, or like you press two keys at a time sometimes, it'll just switch up just a whole hex block of instruments at a time. So, it's not perfect, it's fun, it's pretty easy to build, you can read the tutorial on my blog about it. Um, yeah, rock out!